Greetings everyone and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast for this 11th day of May. It is Saturday and today's topic is titled Looking Unto Jesus. Amen. So let's keep looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And we'll get into the um, topic here in a few minutes. And so before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today. And that is the most important thing that anybody can do, is trust Jesus, call upon him, admit you're a sinner, realize you're a sinner, and you're lost and undone, and dead in trespasses and sin, and can't save yourself, and nothing else can save you but Jesus Christ. So, And he is God manifest in the flesh, and came down to this earth over 2,000 years ago, was born of a virgin, lived a holy, sinless life, which none of us can do, and then he went to the cross and laid down his life and was buried and rose again the third day according to scripture. Hallelujah for that. Amen. Before I get uh, moving on here, let me do something really quick. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn the Wi-Fi on here. So let me do that. So, all right. There we go. I always forget to do that so we don't have any interruptions. All right. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with today's uh, scripture song from 1 Peter 5, 6-7. And let's go ahead and look at 1 Peter chapter 5 first in its entirety. And then we'll get into the scripture song here. So 1 Peter chapter 5. Good uh, to read some Bible here. And let's see, chapter 5. Alright, 14 verses here. So let's go ahead and read it from chapter uh, 5 verse 1, it says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be re revealed, feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And samples is plural for example. So being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Hallelujah. Uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble and in our scripture song verses here humble yourself or yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he careth for you be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walking walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world, but God, or excuse me, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto the, his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye su have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strengthen it, settle you, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus. A faithful brother unto you, as I suppose I have written briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God, wherein ye stand, the church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus my son, greet ye one another with a kiss of charity, peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus, amen. So that's the end of chapter 5 in First Peter. So now let's go ahead and get the scripture song book here and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. So here we go. First Peter 5, 6 and 7. Humble, Humble yourselves therefore under, under the mighty hand, hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in 
due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, all of you who are casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you, for he careth for you. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. He cares for you. You, 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 you. Praise the Lord. All right, so put that back to yesterday's scripture song, and we'll do those again at the end of the broadcast. But now it's time to get into today's topic for this 11th day of May, Saturday, 2024, titled Looking Unto Jesus. And this is Hebrews 12, 2a. And let's go ahead and read this in its entirety. So we'll start with verse 1 of um, Hebrews 12. So let's go here to Hebrews chapter 12, and verse 1 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3, for consider him, so let's always consider the Lord, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest he be wearied and faint in your minds. And uh, verse 4 says, ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and so on and so forth. So, Amen for Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So, I encourage you to read the rest of uh, Hebrews chapter 12 on your own time. But let's go ahead and get into today's uh, topic here for May 11th, titled Looking Unto Jesus. Again, Hebrews 12, 2a, Looking Unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and so on. And we just read those passages there. So, today's author is DM. That would be the initials for... DM that would be Doug McCormick that's M A C C O R M A C K McCormick pastor of Crossroads Baptist Church in Dothan Alabama so let me read you what he wrote today here all right he says here my mother Mrs. Helen McCormick chose these words from the Bible for her life's verse over 50 years ago truly God mightily blessed her efforts to follow this blessed scripture she was used of God to bring her husband and all five of her children to Christ. Well, praise the Lord. Her husband, my dad, became a faithful, fervent, soul-winning Christian, and all her children went into full-time ministry for Christ. May we follow her example of looking unto Jesus. So we have four points here. So let's get into these four points. If you'd like to take notes, I encourage you to do so. So, all right, so let's go ahead here. May we follow her example of looking unto Jesus. Number one, for power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses, dot, dot, dot. Continuing on there, Acts 1, 8 and forward. Number two, for provisions. So number one was for power. Acts 1, 8 is the reference for uh, provision. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 19. So that's point number two. Number three is for protection. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. This is the heritage of the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. And then number four, for purpose. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body is a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, 
that ye may prove what is that acceptable or good, uh, may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 through 2. So let's go over these four points again. Number one is for power. Acts 1, 8 is the reference. Number two is for provision. And then Philippians 4, 19 for the reference. Three, for protection. Isaiah 54, 17. And then four, for purpose. And that's Romans 12, 1 through 2. And then the author concludes with this. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. That's right. Isaiah 45, 22. So that's a good topic today. There's four points. And then concluding with that. <clears throat> and we look unto Jesus to be saved. Nobody else. So hope you do that today. And uh, praise the Lord. All right. So that was a good little devotional there. Looking unto Jesus. And now let's go ahead and open up the Daily Strength Volume 2 book as we conclude this week on fellowship. And today is the last day for this uh, topic here. And day 98, Saturday, is titled Fellowship with the Lord. And that's the most important fellowship we could ever have is with the Lord and then with other believers. So here we go. First John 1 John 1.3 says, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's the passage there. I encourage you to read all of First uh, John chapter 1 in its entirety. So but we have uh, fellowship with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. And now, introductory thoughts. It says, A yoke was an in instrument used to help two animals work together when plowing. The Lord Jesus said that believers should take his yoke upon them, right? Uh, Matthew eleven twenty nine. In other words, the Lord was saying that we should serve with him in our service to him. So serve with him to our, in our service to him. In 1 Corinthians 3, 9, we learn that we are laborers together with God. Fellowshipping with the Lord means walking with him. 1 John 1, 6 through 7. And walking with him means being in agreement with him. Amos 3, 3. Uh, just as God desired to fellowship with Adam, Genesis 3.8, and Enoch, Genesis 5.22, he desires to fellow to have fellowship with us today. He sure does. Um, it is very important that we have fellowship with other like-minded believers, but even more important that we have that we fellowship with the Lord. So that's uh, fellowship with the Lord. Amen. All right. So good uh, introductory thoughts. And now for devotional thoughts for children. And of course we can apply this uh, to everyone also. So in many ways. Alright, for children it says the Lord made everything. Nehemiah 9.6 Simply by speaking things into existence. Hebrews 11.3 He knows all about us. Even to the number of hairs on our head. The Lord said men ought always to pray. And Paul said to pray without ceasing. It's wonderful that the Lord wants us to talk to him right so let's learn to talk to the uh, lord more and that's first peter three twelve for the reference and now for everyone it says why would god desire to fellowship with his creation because he loves us and doesn't want to be separated from us so all that is fellowship more beneficial to the lord or to us hmm. uh, what does this say about the personality of the lord what areas of our lives should be based upon fellowship with the Lord? What are some areas in which we can know him better by fellowship? Hint, see Philippians 3.10. So let's look there. And Philippians 3.10. <clears throat> Alright, Philippians 3.10. So let's go there. I went too far. So Philippians 3 and verse 10 says... Uh, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. And then verse 11 says, If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, and so on and so forth. And I encourage you to read uh, chapter 3 in its entirety, but we won't do that today. So that's that for the devotional thoughts. And now for the prayer thoughts, it says, Ask the Lord to help you walk with him. 
and then ask God to show you the importance of fellowshipping with him. So, and then we have the hymn here, Draw Me Nearer. Good hymn, so that'll be the second hymn today. So that's that, and then let's read the quotes from Volume 3, Week 14. Subject is Envy Continued. So let's read these three quotes here. First one says, Merciful moments might be displayed during times of anger and wrath, but envy will continue to relentlessly pursue its victim without mercy. Mm. And the next quote says, As the fame of Paul's message increased, so did the opposition from the religious leaders of his day. Because of the success of the gospel, many of the Jews were filled with envy and began contradicting and blaspheming Paul's message. And then the last quote says, The Bible often speaks of sin as a thing of the past as it pertains to believers. This is not because believers never sin, but the goal of every believer should be to depart from and avoid the sins which controlled his life prior to salvation, right? So we always strive to not sin after we're saved. But um, so, all right, so that's the end of that. those quotes there. And then tomorrow will be a new week, uh, week 15. Uh, we, the weekly topic will be flattery, and we'll go over the introductory stuff, flattery, how it's found, variations on the word, first usage, last usage, how it's defined, interesting fact about it, Bible study tip, and then we'll go through the week here, and then tomorrow is day 99, church day, no devotional uh, for tomorrow, so we'll be reading uh, the More Fight On Stories book, and we'll be concluding that book tomorrow, it's been fun reading that book, um, uh, challenging sometimes, and a little rough, um, about uh, reading things about these wars, and men having to kill other men and stuff, to to um, protect uh, our country and everything, but um, so... Not always been easy to read, but interesting stories for sure. Um, some of them are about animals attacking other others and all that stuff, and men getting caught in snow snow drifts and stuff. So, if you missed any of those or when they got to get a get a copy of that book, I'll give you the information here um, in a little bit. So that'll be um, tomorrow, and I'll give you all the um, stories there uh, here in a little bit. So. All right, so day 99, church day, Proverbs 7, 4, and 5 are the passages for tomorrow. And so that's uh, week 15 on flattery. So let's put that aside there. And now let's grab the hymn book and do these hymns for today. So, all right, so let's grab the hymn book here and sing the first hymn, which is titled Living for Jesus. And this kind of goes along with the looking under Jesus uh, topic that we went over today. And the Baptist bread. So this is hymn 738 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Another one of these is Submission of the Saint Hymns, a spiritual song. No story for this one. And this is written by Thomas O. Chis uh, o. Chisholm. That's C-H-I-S-H-O-L-M. Chisholm, 1866 to 1960. And then Carl H. Lo uh, Loden, L-O-W-D-E-N, 1883 to 1963. So four stanzas here, so hopefully they have all four stanzas here. So let's do this. Living for Jesus, a life that is true. Striving to please Him in all that I do. Yielding allegiance, glad-hearted and free. This is the pathway of blessing for me. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee. For Thou in Thy atonement didst give Thyself for me. I owe no other master, my heart shall be Thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for Thee alone. Living for Jesus, who died in my place, Bearing on Calvary 
my sin and disgrace. Such love constrains me to answer his call, follow his leading, and give him my all. For Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee, for thou in thy atonement didst give thyself for me. I own no other master, my heart shall be thy throne, my life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. Living for Jesus, whatever I, wherever I am, doing each duty, in his holy name, willing to suffer affliction and loss, deeming each trial a part of my cross. O oh Lord and Savior, I give myself up to thee, for thou in thy atonement didst give thyself for me. I own no other master, my heart shall be thy throne, my life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. Alright, let's go back here to this last stanza here. Living for Jesus through worst little while, my dearest treasure, the light of his smile, seeking the lost ones he died to redeem, bringing the weary to find rest in Him. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee, for Thou in Thy atonement didst give Thyself for me. I owe no other master, my heart shall be Thy throne, my life I give henceforth to live. O oh, Christ, for Thee alone. Amen. And then we have Philippians 3.8 for the reference on the video here. So let's read that. Philippians 3.8. We might have read it already. So Philippians 3.8. Let's go there and read this passage here from Philippians 3.8. All right. So Philippians 3 and verse 8 says, uh, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. And verse 9 says, And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. And then so on and so forth, continuing down to the passage there. So, all right, so that's the end of the first hymn there. So let me put this aside for a minute, and let's jump to the other hymn here, which was this one. All right, so this is Draw Me Nearer. So let me go look for this one here. Whoops, I don't want to do that. All right, so Draw Me Nearer. Yep. Draw me near is the next one. So let's see here. Alright. Guess we'll do this one right here. Make sure we get through the ads first. Alright. So turn this 
up. All right, so this one is Draw Me Nearer. And this is hymn 573 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this is one of these, The Consecration of the Saint Hymns, a spiritual song written by Fanny J. Crosby, 1820-1915, and then William H. Doheny, 1832-1915. And there is a story for this one. We did this one a while back, so read the story again in case you missed it the last time around. So here we go. I know, Lord, I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith, and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me near, 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 nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with the steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine. Draw me near, near, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me near, near, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Oh, the pure delight of a single hour that before thy throne I spend. When I kneel in prayer and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Hallelujah. Come near, nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me near, nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. There are depths of love that I cannot know till I draw across the narrow sea. There are heights of joy I may not reach till I rest in peace with thee. Draw me near, near, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me near, near, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious Leading side. Amen. So good hymn there. All right, now let me read you the story here at the bottom. It says, The pairing of lines and melody are so fitting as to be inseparable in this song, receiving abounding acceptance both near and far while visiting Mr. Doheny in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, evening shadows began to draw near as the sun sank over the distant, distant horizon. The conversation turned to the nearness of God and the subject, impressing deeply upon the heart of Fanny Crosby, brought inspiration to this song, one of the most useful she has ever written. Uh, Doney fitted it with a, its tune, engraving it thus upon the annals of hymn, hymnody. So, praise the Lord. All right, so that's the end of the uh, second hymn there. And let me give you the references to this hymn, and then we'll go back to the other one, because I forgot to give you the references for the first uh, hymn there. So, uh, let's see here. So, this is for Draw Me Near. So, stanza one, we have John 10.27 and Hebrews 10.22. Stanza two is Romans 12.1 and 1 
in Hebrews 6.19. Stanza 3 is Hebrews 10.22 again. And then Hebrews 4.16. Stanza 4 is 1 Corinthians 13.12 and Romans 8.18. 8, and then for the refrain we have John 12.32 and John 19.34. So that's the end of that uh, hymn there. And now let's go back to today's. And let me give you the references for today's really quick since I forgot to do... Uh, that earlier so this is living for jesus the references for this one so this is stanza one first corinthians ten thirty one, and colossians three twenty three through 24 stanza two is first peter two twenty four, and second corinthians five fourteen. stanza three is colossians three seventeen, and romans eight seventeen through 18 stanza four is colossians three two through three and matthew eleven twenty eight. and then for the refrain we have Romans 12, 1, Titus 2, 14, and 1 Peter 4, 2. So that is the end of the hymns for today. And now let's go ahead and grab the scripture song book one more time and sing these scripture songs from yesterday and today, and then we'll uh, wrap it up after that. So yesterday was the 10th, and Jeremiah 29, 12 through 13. Jeremiah 29, 12 and 13. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto God me, Almighty and speaking. I will hearken Amen. unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, <laughs> when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Amen. And then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you, I will hearken unto you, and you shall seek me with all your heart, you shall seek me and find me, when you shall search for me with all your heart, you shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart search for me with all your heart that's right so the lord wants us to search for him with all our hearts Peter 5 6 and 7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for he careth for you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. For he careth for you. You, 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 you. you. All right, praise the Lord for that. So, that is it for today's uh, broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topic for the baptist bread and then the daily strength uh, passage again and then the more fight on stories book as we are going to conclude that uh, book on the broadcast and then the hymns for tomorrow so tomorrow will be the 12th and um deuteronomy 13 4 is the passage it says ye shall walk after the lord your god and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him so that's tomorrow's passage and we'll go over deuteronomy in its entirety to get context there so that's that and then baptist bread for tomorrow is titled mother's day because tomorrow is mother's day so uh, sunday may 12th and mother's day in proverbs 31 1 
is the passage. And tomorrow's author is CS. I believe that's the initials for Chris Staub. And let's see, Chris Staub, he's the pastor of Silvery Lane Baptist Church in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So he's the author tomorrow for Mother's Day topic there. And then the Daily Strength uh, Volume 2 book, as we're going to start on a new week here. Uh, week 15 on flattery, and we'll go over the introductory stuff and all that. And then the passage again for tomorrow, day 99, church day, is Proverbs 7, verses 4 through 5. So that's that for tomorrow. And then the more fight on story book. This is going to wrap up this book tomorrow. We're going to wrap this up and read the rest of the stories there. And uh, again, this is the cover of the second volume. There's two volumes to this series of books here and by Brother Gip. So tomorrow we'll be reading from 294 all the way to 300. And these last stories here. So we have the first one is titled A Withdrawal of Courage. There's that one. And then we have um, some passages here on the next page from Hosea 6.1 and Joshua 24.15. And then the next story is titled A Dove Gets Unsoiled. So that's uh, page 296 and 97, or 296 and 297. And then uh, we have a bunch of quote, or a bunch of passages here on page 298 from Isaiah 118, Romans 6, 23, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Acts 4, 12, and Romans 10, 13. And then we have some quotes here on page 299 from this British soldier in France, 1914. So three quotes uh, from him. And then the final story is titled, How to Stop a War. And this is uh, on page 300. And so then there's that. And then let's see, there's one other thing in here that we're going to go over here at the end of the book. Let me see here. Uh, so this was um, the bibliography. So we'll go over the bibliography and read you all where these, uh, where these uh, stories came from. So you know that. So that will be um, from page five, uh, three, uh, 329 through 332. So we'll go through all that. And then, uh, so that will be it for the more Fight On Stories book. And uh, so that, again, is the cover there. And you can find all of Brother Gibbs books at daystarpublishing.com. It's the website there for all his books there, including those two. And then the hymn for tomorrow it's titled His Way With Thee. And this is another good one here. So His Way With Thee, uh, 7, uh, 739 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Another one is Submission of the Saint Hymns. A spiritual song written by Cyrus S. Uh, Newsbaum. N-U-S-B-A-U-M. Uh, Newsbaum. And then so he's the only writer. No story for this one. So maybe we'll find another hymn. For tomorrow or if not we'll just do that one all right so that's uh from the book here the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book and this is the dark blue cover there's also a brown cover and then a lighter bluish grayish cover and then there's also a leather bound edition and then a spinal um addition to the book so that's um uh, what this looks like um, if you want to know what the spinal what i'm talking about there that's kind of like that where it replaces uh this type of side backing here um, for the book if you prefer that type of uh, backing there so um, and that's that and then the daily strength volume 2 book this is the cover to this book here and there's four volumes to this series of books and these are all found on melodypublications.com it's the website there and then we have the scripture song book and CDs available online or they should be or you can probably contact brother Dean or sister Patty and find out how to get copies of the CDs or mp3 format or however so that's that the scripture song book and then the cds and that's uh www.dailyscripturesongs.com and that's brother dean and sister patty runyon's website missionary support kaituma guyana so pray for them and brother dean's health and pray the lord to continue to comfort him and help him to keep going and uh, sister patty's going to be going uh, to guyana uh, i think the end of june and he's spending a month there uh, helping with VBS and um, all that. So be there for about a month uh, getting things in order over there. And then Brother Blake and Sister uh, Haley Muscott and uh, about 10 others will be going with them over there to help with the VBS. So pray for them. And uh, his uh, ministry that he does where he gets on the ships there in Norfolk, Virginia. 
So pray for them and their ministry up there. And uh, so that's that information there. And then the Baptist Bread uh, book. This is the cover for this month and next month. So if you order now, you might still get this one. If not, you'll definitely get the one for July and August. And that comes in a box of 10, 12 95 Every other month, you'll get a box of those. And you can keep one for yourself and hand out the others. Or put them on a free table or wherever you put stuff to for others to take for free. Um, that's where you can do those uh, there. If you want to get those good devotionals here from, from these men that write these uh, little topics here. And then, so that's that. Um, and then the Bible, the King James Bible, the Word of God. This is the first book we need to be getting into and reading it and studying it and showing thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth and going to God in prayer and seeking His face and uh, asking Him to help you as you're going through your daily life to live for Him and um, have a good, solid relationship with the Lord. So, amen. So that's that. And then also, I uh, forgot to mention the um, Baptist Bread broadcast where you can, or the Baptist Bread book, where you can get these books. That's baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. So that's where you can get those uh, uh, subscription going there. And that other website has other books available. So there's that. And then also, I have another broadcast I've been doing where I've been reading Brother James's book on Genesis, which is a devotional type of uh, commentary where he does different outlines and different uh, topics for each day of the year. And so that's uh, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series. And you can find his books at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website and uh, look for his books there at store.jameswnox.org. And that's uh, how you can uh, get his books and other material. And then the YouTube channel for me, if you know somebody doesn't have Facebook or you'd rather watch the videos on YouTube, that's Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or Baptist Bread Broadcast. If you can't uh, look me up the other way, that's Baptist Bread Broadcast. And you can uh, look that up and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel. So praise the Lord uh, for these platforms here to do do these broadcasts and stuff and get the, the Word of God out there. So, praise the Lord for that. All right, well, that'll be about it for today. So, thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.